Hi, and welcome back to Hacker 101. In this short session, we're going to talk about one of my favorite attacks, XML external entities. XML, unlike HTML and many other markup languages, allows a huge amount of flexibility and power in terms of definitions. One of these powerful features is the ability to define custom entities. These transform an entity, which is represented with an ampersand, then a name, then a semicolon, into some other piece of text. These typically take the form of a simple literal text replacement, but it's possible to reference an external file as the source for the entity, and you may already see the problem here. XXE attacks take advantage of the ability to load files by URI to enable a large number of attack scenarios. Much to the surprise of many, this type of bug is very common, and it's often overlooked by testers. One option is to directly use this to read a file, like Etsy password in the example on screen. You would create an XML file with the requisite data and then upload it to, say, a reporting interface, and it'll read the file for you. That said, a more advanced way in which this can be used is to perform network requests from the vulnerable service. The web server, or whichever process is reading the XML, will make a connection to the URI you provide. This can allow you to do everything from access internal services to port scanning the whole network. Now, many times the XML file you upload won't actually directly show what was fetched. In this case, it can be used as an oracle for file existence or accessibility of a given URI inside the network. This is not unlike how we exploit blind SQLi, for instance, watching for how long requests take when using this to port scan. And more directly, XXE is sometimes considered a subset of SSRF attacks, or server-side request forgery and many of the same exploitation techniques will work here. We have a whole video on that subject, so if you're not familiar with it, you might want to check that out next. The mitigation of these bugs is generally very simple. When you instantiate an XML parser, it often allows for a flag to be passed to disable inline DTDs or disable entity processing entirely. Either of these will completely mitigate the vulnerability. Now, it's hard to say that these attacks are particularly interesting, for the most part. With rare exceptions, they involve nothing more than adding a DTD containing some new entities to an existing chunk of XML. Due to their critical nature, though, these can be very valuable. For instance, a single instance of this bug was paid a $10,800 bounty on HackerOne. With this bug, HackerOne user Josh Brody was able to read arbitrary files via a Twitter service. These attacks are super simple, but they're crazy effective. When you're testing an application and see XML going into the server for any reason, try inserting an XXE payload. You'd be surprised how often you'll see this work, often with dramatic results. As always, thanks for watching and happy breaking.